you guys. This Hi. is a beautiful summery start today with some flowers on the island. Well, you know, Brandon wow. always buying me flowers. Once again, coming through in the clutch, just getting Mindy some flowers and setting them out just to kidding. set the I mood for the day. Oh, okay. Anyways, <laughs> welcome in, guys. Hello. It's a big day today. We are getting ready, preparing to head out of town. If you are watching this video for the first time on our channel and you're like, what's up, what's going on? Mindy and I are headed to Cabo. But we are not taking the kids. What? This is one of the We're rare. Not taking them? I've packed them. <laughs> you packed them? <laughs> when was the last time we did anything like this? Five years ago? Four years ago, we went to New York. Kids were here, but Dan and Shell watched them. Well, guys, this time, Dan and Shell, if you missed yesterday's video, they have left the United States and they are not coming back country. ever, as far as we know. They're not available. <laughs> I don't want to go to the next best thing. They're just as good. Sorry, Jared and Britt. You're just as good, and the kids are equally, if not more so, stoked. But we have Jared and Britt coming we're into town so to watch the kids this time. They have just arrived. They just touched down from Florida. If you don't know, guys, they live in Fort Lauderdale. In order to get the babysitters here, we had to fly them to Utah, first of all. Yes. They have just arrived. We are in preparation mode for their arrival right now, which means means what, mom? means a lot of work. Clean the house, got the car detailed, finalizing all the things so we have all the food for and all the people. Have Hazy looking the best she's ever looked. Hazy, look how adorable you are. Yes, and this beauty Wait! Looks you're looks missing gross. something! Hazel! Yep. You saw on our Insta Lost stories last night, tooth. you guys. Had that tooth come out all on its own. Now four of them were scheduled to be extracted. Now that's down to three because one of them came out on its own. Did you get anything for that tooth? Mm-hmm. Let me go grab it. Okay. This is what I got. Hazel, it has your name on it. So your tooth yeah. was there and now no tooth money? There's four bucks in there, but it's one. Four ones? Yeah, oh, four so you get to have some cash. Four bucks. Cashing in on that front tooth, Hazy, and you look adorable. Pretty soon you're gonna have no teeth in there, and it's gonna be the cutest smile ever. Yeah. Yeah. Hazy looking adorable, ready for the arrival of Jared and Britt. Mom, yeah. what have you got here? What's going on? Do we do so another haul? What is this? I wanted to try and make their load a little lighter. I decided to get pre-made meals. I grabbed meatloaf. I got a taco kit, a stir fry kit. Ryler finally found his salads that he's been looking for. I grabbed vegetable tray. What? Oh, that's because it's Jared and Britt. I know. <laughs> that's not for us. We actually just put in that in the fridge so that Jared and Britt think that we eat vegetables. And they'll see that and be like, oh yeah, veggie I tray. actually watched their video from yesterday. She cut up a full cucumber, mixed it with some ranch oh. powder, and I was like, Eight vegetables. She's gonna go through her house and be like, where's anything green? We so, got that frozen lasagna I saw, a few frozen yes, items. Yes, we go through milk so fast. I got some more milk, protein drinks for them if they want them in the morning, and then Hazy requested raspberries, strawberries, course, and grapes. Of course, of course. guy got a few on the go, easy to make breakfasts as well. This is just a few Thanks. things getting prepped grocery-wise. It's an easy transition and entry for Jared and Britt as they I don't have to prepare them. meals. This is all you guys, I have the oh, Bingham boy. Family Bible. The Bingham Bible, you guys. This I is. Know. This holds. <laughs> it is a religion. Everything <laughs> we have in here. I have Wi-Fi passwords. I have insurance cards. Consent to treat if they have a medical emergency. <laughs> here, Which given us, we there's a chance. That. We have our will. We have oh a list of restaurants that the kids love. A list of activities that they would love to go do. Wow. Spending cash. Some of their favorites. Also, phone numbers for people that, in case they need to get a hold of, they'll have it. All of the addresses and phone numbers to all the places the kids need to. Go. You have a few, even though it is summer, but they have like tumbling and some other things tumbling that they need to be to. And, and, and so there's an agenda so, in there where to be, when, how to yes, get there. It's color coded by what kid has what thing. Guys, this isn't a joke. And you can't open it because there's general. so much personal information there's so much in, there, in here we can't but show you. But it, this is not an exaggeration. This thing is the next level. I hope it makes everything very easy, taking all the thought out of it for Jared and Britt so they can just enjoy and the fun. Honestly, our kids are old enough. They to know run what's up. Without they do. And Jared and Britt are responsible enough. It's not that. It's just that we don't want them to have to spend a lot of time thinking about what to do. Next, yes. wondering how things are supposed to be done. It's all in there, all explicitly. Helmets are a written must. Out. Helmets in are not supposed to In red. <laughs> that way, they can just enjoy themselves, have a ton of fun, and not have to put a lot of thought or effort into any of it. To go along with that, mom has got new bed sheets, new pillows. She has re outfitted the bed for them so yes. they don't have to worry about that. House is clean. The house is spectacular. Detailed the car because they're going to be taking the swagger wagon while we are gone. Want that in tip top shape. I do think we have everything ready for their arrival. I haven't packed yet. You're mostly packed. We need to pack. I'm gonna get some packing going. Let's go check in on everything that we've got going yeah. on upstairs. Packing up, getting ready to head out. I've packed a couple of books so I can just sit by the- Wait, books? The pool and read. Mindy, have you ever taken books on a vacation before? No, and I bought three and I bet I come home not reading any a of them. A little change but I've of got speed up. here. Books on a vacation. We have never read ever. Passports out of the okay. country. Then I got a new beach bag. Ooh, fun. That's gonna be really cute. And then some just some little treats oh, and snacks Mindy, for Brandon and I. Look at those. Those are for us? These are just for us. You get We're this packed ready. up. I'm gonna get myself packed up. Ragga and I are gonna run a quick errand, do some last minute pickups. I know you've got some fun books here. I might look at getting something similar. 
Oh. Uh, yeah, and then uh, we'll be back. Thanks. And I think Jared and Britt should be here by the time we get back. I'm so excited. Oh, dude, Whoa. I like that color, dude. That is My guy and I just got back from Best Buy. We're doing just a little, it's kind of actually our little thing. Like we yeah. love to just go there, walk, walk around. around. Typically, mom doesn't love us to go there because it's pretty rare we actually leave and come back yeah. with nothing. This time I was like, you know what? Keep our hands off of everything. We're not gonna really get involved. Then I realized Father's Day is coming Day. up and I don't want Minnie to have to deal with the hassle thinking what to get me, what am I going to want or need or be happy with. So I just said, hey, right guy, let's knock this out right now. Yeah. This can be from you, mom, everybody. And I'm gonna get myself an early Father's Day present. You're welcome. So I ended up picking up the new Apple that. iPad Air, fifth generation. <laughs> it's the blue one. This oh, is yeah. like the first time I've ever done this kind of a blue. And if you've seen my one wheel, I love this color of blue. Bra Guy has done all of the research on this. He has gone through every single possible spec. He's calling it my M1 iPad, which I don't know what that means. Telling me all about the resolutions, the power, how it has the same chip as these other MacBooks. It's gonna blow your mind. Yeah, he watches a lot of unboxings, a lot of tech videos, so he knows his stuff. If you guys haven't seen, he recently got his own iPad mini, which he did a lot of research on. Oh, you got it right here. There you go. He got his own iPad mini. Mini, bought it with his own money, his 4.0 money. That has been instrumental in his awesome. studies, you guys. He has Love used it. it so much. So there was a long debate if I should get the Mini, the Air. I never was really interested in the Pro. It's a little too yeah, high-end for me. very much. One I have that I've been using, I got a long, long time ago, probably three or four years ago. Yeah. He got it before a trip just to have it on the airplane. Which, timing-wise, it's kind of the exact same yeah. thing here because we're about to go to Cabo, but anyway. And he just got like the cheapest model, the one that just worked, I guess. It's good, and it's yeah. great because mostly all he does watch YouTube, Netflix, stuff like that. Doesn't need a lot of computing yeah. and processing power. But when he does try to do anything close to that. It'd be cool to like do a little bit of editing on the fly, some of the GoPro 360 footage, things like that. My current one, if I open the settings, it like hard crashes. If I try and send a text, the screen freezes. It's just a little bit old. So I thought, okay, maybe now is the time. And then Braga did the research for me online and he's like, no dad, this is the time. They are saying that the fifth generation iPad Air is the most powerful they've ever made. And at this price point, it is absolutely Insane. slam dunk, yeah. unbeatable. Get you it. must get it. So I'm blaming this one on Raga, Mindy, if you're watching. This you're was Raga's right, idea. He made this happen. And also, thank you, because this is a great Father's Day gift. You're welcome. But yeah. now, only seems fitting that I would unbox this bad boy with my tech guru rag guy. Yes, sir. You want to do the honors? Let's do it. Let's go. Cool is that part? Oh my oh. gosh! Look at that color. Uh, Gorgeous, dude, it is so much cooler than Holy. I thought. It also is not the blue of the case that I got, but that's okay. Oh my Holy. god, oh my god, this thing is gorgeous. It's stunning. It's a big oh, boy. boy. It's a big boy. Let me actually just see, because I have yes. not. Oh my goodness, dude, it is dude, light. That is so you. It's that thin. Is so you. It's just the right amount of blue. Holy cow, you guys, this thing is beautiful. Right guy's gonna help me get the whole thing set up, and okay. then if you want to, you want to tell us some of the things that make it great just in a second, as soon as we yeah. okay, okay, okay. This thing is more gorgeous so than I ever imagined. I had heard that the blue was great. I actually, what pushed me over the edge, Frog Guy definitely pushed me over the edge, but MKBHD's video, the one he was holding was the blue one. Oh, and I was like, that just looks mm -hmm. so sick. I must have that it's one. So, cool. so that's the one I got. It is gorgeous. It is thinner and lighter than I thought. It's, so cool. it's got the squared edges, which is super cool. So it has like the pro form factor. But when you do these Apple transfers, for like if it's phones or iPads, if you want to, I think you can just do like a direct transfer from your previous model. So yeah. I've got my old iPad right here. Next to the new one, and as Ryler tells me, I'll log into my iCloud, put these devices near each other. So easy. And basically, this iPad becomes this iPad, and we've moved on to the latest hot. Easy. So we're gonna try that out right now. I love this though, dude. We've got iPad, iPad mini, mini, the whatever iPad this one is. It's just think, called iPad. I think I this might be an iPad Air though. The iPad. older iPad. It just says iPad. Anyways, then iPad Air, and mom actually has the iPad, iPad Pro. Pro. So we literally have like a row. We should put hers right there. We'd have all the iPads. Okay, we'll do that in a minute just for okay. fun. Rye guy and I, super tech nerds, you guys. Mm -hmm. If you can't tell, we've been geeked about doing this literally all day. Setup time? Still. Setup time. Dude, look how easy this is. You literally just hold this iPad over that iPad. It scans the globe of glitter. Oh, enter passcode on your other iPad. Ooh, not telling you. Okay. <laughs> 
it's cool. so sick. This is the lock unlock button, but that's also your touch ID. So instead yeah. of the fingerprint down here, and instead of a face ID scanner, which I'll be honest, I don't love button. face ID because it yeah. often doesn't read right, or sometimes I don't want to look right at it, and I miss the ability to mm -hmm. touch. This is the perfect touch ID in the perfect place. This is where you would unlock it. Yeah. So I'm setting it up right now by putting my finger on here, and it okay. reads my fingerprint. Isn't this how we learned that you have like incredibly unique fingerprints? Yeah. It was by doing this or something. Okay, capture all of your finger. So Keep now, going. Turn it this way. Rag was explaining to me that it also has it set up so that if you are holding it this way, you'd naturally have a different finger as your touch ID. So I know you can do multiple fingers, but this has a purpose because if you're holding it like this, you're going to have a different finger that unlocks it. So you've got your right and left, depending on how you might be holding it to unlock it. That is pretty cool. Pretty tech savvy. Okay, so it's done. This one is transferred over, I think, successfully. Let's do the old touch ID. We've got all the iPads laid out here. This one, the newest hotness, iPad Air, fifth generation in that sick slate blue, I'm gonna call it. I don't know, it's sure. just like a dope blue. But here's the deal, guys, here's the problem. iPad has these incredible colors, but then they sell cases that cover up everything. So I wanted a case that would show this color, that's why I got this color in the first place, but would still be protective. So I ordered one on Amazon, it came actually about four hours after I ordered it, which is absolutely nuts, but I don't like it. I was trying to keep the blue, but I don't think I love that. It's yeah. too powdery babyish blue, and it, I think it is, I don't know, I don't love it. And and then the back is like so fogged, I don't think you would even be able to like see the blue. So I am thinking that I might just do like a clear back and a screen protector. I think that's a good way to go. Because I also have a white one on order that's gonna come. I should be able to show you guys that one. It might come today by the end of the day. So yeah. I'll show you the white one. I thought white and blue could be kind of cool. But now that I see this blue, it's darker than I thought. So white, yeah. I don't know. A lot of emphasis and thought on the case, but it's like when you get it for a specific color, you don't want to cover that color. I just don't get that. The Apple ones cover the entire back, which is nice but then you don't see this cool color. Anyways, we're gonna keep fidgeting with this, but Ragai, really quick, could you break down some of the specs for us? Like, tell us what makes this one yes. great. Ragai's got my iPad as well as yeah. the iPad mini. I'm just gonna say this really quick because when we were talking about it, I really had a hard time yeah. deciding between the mini and the full size. What it came down to, the reason I think the mini's perfect for Ragai is because he doesn't have an iPhone, and so that's kind of like that perfect mid-size between a full-size iPad and a phone, and I've got the phone for small stuff, and if I wanna go bigger screen movie watching, things like yeah. that, I'll go with the full-size screen. So, dude, some of the breakdowns, the differences between these iPads. The new iPad Air 5th Gen has the M1 chip, which is in the brand new MacBook, like 2022 MacBook Pro. Wait, the laptop MacBook Pro, or yeah, do you mean that, iPad like, Pro? Edit on. What? Yeah. That has the same, because that's what makes the MacBook Pro so fast and so great for editing, is because of that chip. You're telling me that chip is in this iPad. In this iPad. Dude, I'm going to put, like, editing software on that yeah. and try some editing on the fly. That could be insane. I mean, I've got my laptop most of the time on the go. That could be next Why level. Not, yeah. Okay, what else? What else is so hot about this one? It has the 10.9 inch screen, Apple Pencil, compatibility, Touch ID on the top, awesome stuff overall. Dude, so it's a powerful beast. The screen's so much better than my yeah. current one. It's got better speakers. It has the Apple keyboard-like compatibility mm -hmm. where you can slap on the keyboard there, use that, which I actually looked at that as a potential case, but I don't see myself typing yeah, on it no. too often. Anyways, dude, overall, this thing is a beast, but at its price point, it's as powerful as the previous, like, pros, mm -hmm. I think, but for way less money, it yeah. just felt like it was a great time was to jump in and get one, so I snapped it early Father's Day, but also take to Cabo. We're gonna be doing some yeah. chilling, put some movies on there, YouTube, Netflix, all the fun stuff. And when I'm with mom hanging out and we're just kind of vegging on the plane or in our hotel room, even by the pool or by the beach, it would be nice to have new iPad fully functioning, working good. Dude, thank you for your help and getting this thing all set up. That's gonna do it for our Tech Tuesday on a Monday, but always a lot of fun to introduce new tech. And of course, Ragai always keeps us up to speed on the latest and greatest and helps us understand what makes this new technology so great. It talks us into a lot of stuff that we probably don't need, but thank yeah. you anyway. Because we've got some stuff to get ready for. We have got Jared and Britt coming. Oh, They're yes. going to be arriving soon. They're going to be watching the kids and hanging out with them for the next few days. So let's tuck this iPad away, download some movies. Get ready for mom and I to take off on an airplane. Before that, we've got to welcome Jared and Britt and introduce them to the Bingham Family Bible of Instruction while we are out of town to make sure everything is taken care of in our absence. We do have both cases here in the house now. The white one just arrived. I went ahead and put the blue one on. I'm debating, I don't know. This one's pretty powdery blue. The backside does show through so you get to yeah. actually see the epic blue in this new iPad Air 5. But this one, I kind of think the white and the blue, I'm gonna kind of go back and forth. But right guys, dude, you just got done watching WWDC, is that what it's called? Yeah. And apparently they're coming out with the M2 chip. Yeah, but it's so cool. In the brand new MacBook Air, it's the sickest thing. Okay, ever. but it's not in the iPad. No. They're not coming out with the sixth gen the day not after yet. I got the fifth gen? No. Okay, good, good, good. So this one's still good for a little while guys. I think this is gonna be a great resource for some relaxation while on our adventure in Cabo. But you guys, we gotta tuck this away. It is time to move on because Jared and Britt are on approach. They are almost here. I think we're ready for their arrival.
Yeah. Holy cow! Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Guys, this is your life. Woo. This is your future, Jared and Brandon. Today show. This $1. might be the first time this has ever happened and it is on record. Tyler is taller than Brittany? No way. I'm tall. Guys, Brittany is very tall. You might yeah. not notice that because Jared's such a giant, but she's very tall. And I think. Tall. perspective. Yeah, here, let's I'm get. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is actually a very good. Yeah, yeah, there we go. go. As the Olympics so average tall. person. Bring your daughter to work day? <laughs> Love it. You guys are so dumb. Are you ready for this? So, for this. Wait, did you uh, just make this for today? Is that actually no, cool? this I heard. So she actually has this for the other time we went out of town, because this is the second time in our lives. And it's just been updated with some of the new information, new hot spots, schedules, schedules where the kids need to be and when, addresses, driving directions, map quest, you know, that kind of stuff. Some do's and don'ts, helmets at all times for the kids, no water deeper than three feet, you know, just a light little just reading for the night. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna open this up, Skippy. Like, oh. So guys, if you've got six hours, we're gonna go over a couple of the rules, and then, yeah, yeah, just basically after that, do whatever you want. I, that's all. <laughs> See you tomorrow morning. Thank you. We love you. Heck yeah, baby. Hey, there'll be a quiz in the morning on the Bible, so just uh, make sure you study up tonight, okay? Study up tonight. <laughs> Got the flashcards ready. <laughs> Mom's been putting on some of the finishing touches here, which includes stocking that theater with some candy, you guys. Mom's got candy, she's got food, snacks. Jared and Britt are here. They've gone through all the rules. They know all the ins and outs. There's everything. Are you guys ready? Too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You guys I'm ready so for some excited. fun? So excited. 100%. Wow. Fine guys. Leave. I can't wait for you to leave. Missing me. <laughs> we will see you guys in the morning, but we did want to get everybody gathered here together tonight. Say goodnight and goodbye to the vlog. Now tomorrow we take off pretty early, Mom and I. Jared and Britt are gonna sleep over at Mana Joe's house tonight, which they're very excited to do that. Mana Joe's also very excited but they will be here bright and early to take over duties here. Now you guys know, you guys are really in charge, okay? You guys yeah. tell Jared and Britt how yeah. it's done You guys don't tell Jared and Brittany this, but you're actually babysitting them. them. Uh -huh. Yeah, you guys keep things under control. Show okay. them how we bing them. Make sure you are following Jared and Britt because they will be with the kids this week. And of course us here, as we go to Cabo, and I've asked Jared and Raga as well to pretty please send us some fun stuff that happens here to include here in our vlogs as well. So you should be able to get it yes. from all angles and all places, you guys. But thank you for hanging with us as we prepare today to get out of town. We're gonna miss these kids like crazy, but no sadness yet. We already did that in yesterday's vlog. Yeah. Big sad goodbyes. Tomorrow I think is gonna really settle because I haven't even packed. There's so much more still Tomorrow. to get done. Tomorrow I think it's gonna settle I'm in. So excited. You can get out of here. Love you. Thanks for hanging out with us. And make sure you come back to see our epic travels in Cabo. It's been a long time since we've been there. We love you and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Sorry, I'm just getting B-rolled, you guys. You're not that accurate. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so dumb. So dumb. <laughs>